moments later. So we have Hello. just made it to Istanbul. We are both absolutely shattered. So Hello. please ignore. If you sound a bit dead, and I didn't really vlog the process of me traveling and stuff. As you guys know, I do suffer with travel anxiety, so it was really hard for me. You did but really I did, well, yeah, I did really well actually. So I was quite proud of myself this time around. But anyways, we have just got to the hotel, had a shower, got ready, yep. and now we are gonna go and see if we can grab some food. I think we just Stop had, it. what did we have? Oh my God, all day, like basically traveling. We tra We left the house at like half five in the morning and all day, and now it's like, what time is it here? Five okay. or three. Okay, so it's five o'clock in UK time in, and all we had all day was like some small pastry that we got as soon as we landed in Turkey. So we're both absolutely starving. So we're gonna go yeah. and then go for food. Hopefully we find something nice. I've got my glasses on because my eyes are absolutely aching and I'm shattered. So yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Um, I actually, I'm, I don't know. I'll see. If we get some nice food, I'll vlog it. If not, I'll probably start the vlog tomorrow on a fresh start when we're both a bit lively. <laughs> Had a good night's sleep. And then we'll start day one of Turkey. But so far, impressions. Yeah, it's good. It's really, nice. really nice, actually. Beautiful, isn't it? Like, we came at like sunset time. We came sunset, so nice and it was so beautiful. If you follow me on Instagram, amina.chevy, you'll see everything like pretty much live. So obviously go there and follow me first because obviously you'll see everything live. But Let's we're go. basically vlogging from the toilets because the toilets have literally the best lighting. So I'll probably catch up with you guys actually when we. I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow because I've got a bit of a headache, a bit tired, obviously. I've been traveling since five, half five in the morning. So I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. Fresh start, day one of Istanbul. This is typically, well, this is technically day one, but it's pretty much a night. So yeah. I'll probably vlog um, tomorrow and we shall love you and leave you. Day two in Turkey. Ooh, ooh. I feel like I've got tits. That was disturbing. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to day two in Istanbul. We have just nipped back into the hotel after breakfast because today is quite chilly. It's a bit windy here, so um, Adol's getting a coat, as you guys can see. I've got this gorgeous, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've got like this beautiful dress oh, that I picked up from yeah from um zara this is the first time i'm wearing it and i actually really really like it i'm wearing it with um open shoes instead of trainers because i was just wasn't sure about the weather and then i've got this actually i'm wearing all zara today how old is that <laughs> my leather jacket is from zara my bag is from zara, zara day, yeah. my dress oh my god i didn't even realize till now yeah everything i'm wearing is pretty much zara and i'm loving it so love that for me but anyways we had a decent breakfast we had toast with some oh cheese my god. Old top shop. Is yours old top shop? Wow. Yeah. But anyways, plan for today is we're gonna go to the Blue Mosque and we're gonna go to the Grand Bazaar. I'm really excited. I hope the weather cheers up a little bit. It's a bit grey and dull today. But um as long as it doesn't rain, we'll just take an umbrella just in case it does. As long as it doesn't rain and it's like really really cold then we're fine. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm really excited. I've always wanted to go to the Blue Mosque for like the longest time ever. It's like one of my dreams i've had for so long so to actually go there i'm so excited so i'm gonna bring you guys along with us as always i'm gonna be vlogging our whole journey inshallah and we're hopefully gonna plan to do different things every single day like fingers crossed that's the case look at adult just spraying himself with perfume yesterday oh my god so i kind of wish we took the camera with us because the last time i vlogged with you guys obviously i left you at the um at the hotel and then when we went out we went to like the most amazing um lounge slash cafe Lulu thanks cafe. to Adol because he um he was recommended it by his friend actually it was called lulu um lounge and it was so sick like the vibe there is so amazing so if you do come to istanbul and you want to go to like a cool like cafe slash food slash like shisha then definitely go That's to lulu shisha, yeah the shisha was so paying go to lulu cafe would 100 percent recommend it i would say book in advance because it gets really really busy we had to wait about <clears throat> 22 30 minutes so it wasn't too bad 
um but yeah the vibe there is so sick so the definitely definitely amazing. would recommend it yeah the view was so stunning you can literally see the whole istanbul at night it was just amazing i definitely want to go during the daytime so i can imagine like i can imagine it'd be so beautiful but anyways we are off to breakfast breakfast no we had breakfast we are off out that's where we're going um and then we'll catch you guys when we get there we're gonna walk it because it's only like a 10 minute walk from our hotel because we're pretty central like this hotel is pretty central so it's quite cool close to everything so we're gonna walk here and we will see you guys when we get there guys we have just made it to the blue mosque and it is stunning literally so beautiful but they're just currently renovating it so it looks a bit like this but from the outside it's absolutely gorgeous we definitely want to do a tour soon look at Adol just lost but it's so so pretty it proper lives up to like its name it's so beautiful I feel like it's so crazy that we're actually here in it it's, it's like it. oh you, you have to put oh we're gonna go in the mosque now we need to take our shoes off though okay let's go So we're in the Blue Mosque at the moment and it's so beautiful isn't it? We've so taken so many pictures and everything here is just so beautiful. Oh my god, you can see the guy, is he doing the Imam or something? No. What is he doing? guy is praying. Yeah, but anyways, it's so, so pretty here. We took loads of pictures outside, oh my god, you guys, if you're not following my Instagram, make sure you're following it. I'm going to say that every single time here because it's so, so beautiful. But yeah, there's an old guy praying and it's so cute, I need to show you guys. So we are just walking to the Grand Bazaar now. We're taking some shortcuts. Oh, this is toilets. What? Did you say here? No, no upstairs. Oh. Upstairs. Yeah. So we're just walking to the. Oh, Careful. steep. Oh my God. My legs. So yeah, we're just walk. Please ignore my scarf, by the way, guys. I look like an absolute mess right now. But we're just gonna ignore that. Anyways, we went to what's that place that we went to with all the shops, huh? Arresta Bazaar. Arresta Bazaar, and I got few bits so I'm really excited with the stuff I got I got some gifts for my mom my mother-in-law and a few bits and bobs we bought them gifts already but yeah now we are going to the main bazaar which I'm so excited about but the amount of walking we've did we've done already my legs are aching but I guess it, it works out in, in terms of like gym it kind of covers for the gym in it yeah. <laughs> literally morning hands or whatever
Okay guys, so we just sat down for tea because we're absolutely shattered. We've been like walking for so many hours and we're so exhausted. So we finally come down for tea. It's a um, typical like Turkish tea. And it's actually so decent. So we've sat down, we've got like baklava here. So we'll have baklava and tea. Thank you. There's the tea coming. But yeah, we're gonna have that. We're gonna chill for like five minutes. Why am I not in focus? I don't understand. Yeah, we're gonna have that chill for five I'm minutes, not and then you haven't slept. So late. I know. I don't even sleep. I was so tired. Oh my god, it was so funny. Literally, literally about two or three o'clock in the morning, all we could hear is like meowing, and I literally thought there was a cat outside our door. That's how loud it was. You don't want but it turned out to be. Um, I think I'll be fine because I haven't stopped the sweet. You sure? Yeah, I don't want sugar. It's fine. Adol has two sugars in his tea, and I don't have any. This is three, babe. You can get diabetes that way. Anyways, like I'm saying, huh? I need some sugar. Rich. I know. You probably need coffee. We'll get coffee from Starbucks. You're yeah. a coffee fan, I'm not. Yeah, guys. Um, literally, we heard a, like a cat meowing, and we literally thought it was outside the door. But guess what? It was literally outside the hotel. <laughs> we just had the window open. Yeah. It was so loud. I kid you not. I was like, what the hell is a cat literally outside? But it turned out to be. Sorry, babe. It's going in, yeah, babes. Go on then. Mm -hmm. You having fun, darling? Yeah. Lots of fun in it. I like the bazaar. Yeah. It's so crazy though, isn't it? How people just like... They jump on they you. They jump on you, man. If you're, if you're coming here, you're not sure what you like so much. And half the price. Half the price, you. everything. Honestly, guys, they literally... Like, if you just look at something in their shop, they'll jump on you hard. And you're just like, I'm just looking, I'm just looking. They're like, no, what do you want? What do you want? Let me get it for you. I'll try it off. I'm like, it's so tiring. Like... We just want to look around sometimes, but they, they're very full on. So if you are coming to the bazaar, I hope you have your haggling skills on because adults are very good at haggling. I'm just like really, I get awkward, so I can't do it, but you're very good at doing that. So I'll give you that, that's for sure. Anyways, we are going to catch up with some tea and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Give you guys a little montage of the nice bazaar. Baby, where are we? We're in we just finished. What do you think of the Grand Bazaar? I love it. So Everyone is pouncing. I had a bit of a few arguments. If you turn around, it's so I had a few arguments, but. What can I say? Such a nice weather today, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so happy about the weather because in the morning it was actually really quite chilly. So nice. It's warm as well. It's warm. We're going to this uh, place here. There's a bit more side of a market. This is huge, guys. You get tired. So we're gonna go in there. Let's see I what that's about. Outfit this way. Outfit the next bit windy, so we're gonna that. Very nice. Guys, if you come to Istanbul, or anywhere probably in um, Turkey. Make sure you guys get the fresh orange juice. It's so, so nice. And it's 10 lira. 10 lira. Which one works out to be one pound 30, which is so cheap for fresh orange juice, so. Okay, so we're going to lunch. And we're gonna go here, the most famous place, of course. How can you not? Look how busy it is. It's so beautiful, honestly. And then look at him. Oh my god, he looks literally so real. It's so bizarre. We got a statue of him as well. That is literally crazy. Look how crazy and busy the place is. Are you excited? Food time. Yes guys, we are still shopping. I'm sitting down because I'm absolutely shattered. Like, Adol's upstairs and he's like getting shown all the watches and stuff and I'm just like so tired now. So I'm just about, just about sitting for like two minutes before we head out again. But we're in this really cool shop and the people here are so nice and so friendly. So we're really happy with the service here. I've got a few bits so as you can see here, shopping is so dangerous here in Istanbul. Like literally we spent so much but we're having so much fun, so that's fine. 
but anyways i hope that doesn't take too long i think we're gonna go back to the hotel freshen up for a little bit just like chill probably have a shower just like feel fresh again and then probably go out for dinner food is definitely on the agenda for sure but yeah fingers crossed he comes soon because your girl's tired not cool We made it back to the hotel guys and my legs are did i get a blister no i didn't get a blister but my legs are pretty swollen ew did you guys just hear the him fart you absolute imbecile that is disgusting do not come here guys ew oh, yeah absolutely vile oh my god he is so disgusting this is how this is the true adult guys Thank God the window's open. <laughs> I can't even deal with him. He is so disgusting. Guys, look at Adol. He got a, a tan. How do you get we a are tan? Can you see what I mean? No. You got a massive tan. This is what happens Yo, every single you time. Look nice, man. I told you got tanned. It's white here. I told you that. You didn't believe me. Oh. Every time we go on holiday, it can be anywhere. He always gets a tan. I could wear no makeup and I still don't get a tan. Obviously, I'm not gonna get a tan on my face if I'm wearing makeup. He always tans, I'm so jealous. But, anyways, this is day two, so imagine towards the end of the holiday, you're gonna look completely different. Well, I need to buy some protection. Huh? Yeah, you actually do because you tan so easily. But, anyways, we are just gonna chill. Basically, my mood is his mood right now. We are gonna chill for a little bit, freshen up, and then head out for dinner later. But I'm just charging up my phone. We had to buy like one of those special, like, adapting charger thing even drink is uh, obviously we got the british one and um, we got the normal charger and obviously theirs is completely different so we had to get Ooh. a charger slot and finally my phone's coming on can you guys see that yay it's on yeah it's coming on slowly all day with a switched off phone it's not cool i want to oh, catch up on my messages i want to upload pictures that i took today so um yeah definitely looking forward to using my phone and by the way so guys if you are coming to turkey or Istanbul. Get yourself a Vodafone a SIM card from the from UK. From the UK, because it's a lot cheaper than buying it here. Like here, the charge was about 20, 25 pounds, and we bought it tenor. Um, at Vodafone for literally tenner. A tenner. That gives you 9 gig data. And it gives us the same data as, and it gives us the same data like they were offering here. So, yeah, a little tip for you guys is if you are coming, get a SIM from the UK because they work out, it works out a lot we cheaper. We should have got two, yeah. We should have got two, we just got one. Anyways, we're gonna just chill. Right oh my god, we've got the windows open and the weather is so beautiful. Guys, we so are nice so lucky. We walked for hours. We left the house, well, we had breakfast, left the house about nine, and now it's like three. The Grand Bazaar as well is a must. Make sure you go there. Yeah, 100%. So nice. If you come to Istanbul, Grand Bazaar is the one. Anyways, we are gonna just chill and I'll probably catch you guys when we are off for dinner, but thank God for Starbucks because. Look at the colour between me and you. We look like completely different people. People Anyways. think I'm Turkish here. Yeah. yeah, everyone thinks Adol's Turkish. When I went to Tunisia, they thought I was Tunisian. When I went to Dubai, they thought I fucking was... I swear to God, this is not even a lie. Whoa. When we first went for, uh, for our honeymoon in Dubai, everyone thought he was like an Arab. This so they started speaking like... to him in Arabic. When he went to Tunisia, everyone started speaking to him in Tunisian because they thought he was Tunisian. And here, everyone thinks he's Turkish. Like, you look like you're from different countries, Multi apparently. Yeah, like, how? I mean, no one can guess where I'm from. Love that. <laughs> no one knows where I'm from. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm fine with that. But you... Well, someone said you're Polish. That was back in the UK. <laughs> that was, like, the biggest diss ever. That was at the gym. We're not going to go into it. We're not going to go into it, but, yeah, that's that happened. That's not any nationalities. Yeah, we're well, no offense, but... A few moments. Okay, guys. So we have come for dinner at Lotti. Um, our first time trying this place. We've never, obviously, tried it. Never heard anything about it. But we were so hungry at this point. We, we said we're gonna go literally for anything. Um, so yeah, we're just like chilling. It's kind of in central as well, so it's quite nice. And we'll let you know if the food's any good because we haven't had the food yet. But we'll let you know. Yeah, the area is really good. Yeah, so it's quite nice actually. Yeah. This is our view. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm not the basic Look at this one, Richie, Balenciaga, yeah? Yeah, guys, you like my jumper. Very nice. I'd be a bit stylish and dressed up today. I bought this new scarf, white yeah. one. Finally, I got a white one. And I've been telling me for the longest time ever, longest time ever to get a white scarf. Yep. My white scarf is ruined. I've ruined. Got 
Mark's all over. Rips all over. Marks is torn and it's blue. I got somebody over there. And love a life. Love a life? Yeah. Here. Zoo. Blogger. Concentration hard, hey babes. Lol, your face right now. <laughs> Hello, darling. You right, darling? You right? I'm not giving you any food. Cats? Yeah. Yeah, cats everywhere. Oh, so cute though, isn't it? He's looking at you now. Guys, look what Adol got me. It was so cute. A guy was literally walking down here and he was offering to give flowers and then Adol bought one for me. How cute. So romantic. Food is lovely, thank you.